Good morning. We are breaking down today's market action with Jim Cramer on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And Jim, let's begin with your real money column following JP Morgan today. Yeah, I mean, what you want to do is you want to look at today the Fed uh, meeting notes come out at 2 o'clock and you need kind of a hawkish stance. Uh, it, it, this is difficult because the tenure 2.2 would indicate that perhaps they're not going to take one. But JP Morgan needs two rate hikes this year in order to be able to have numbers go up. The stock is a big cap stock that everybody looks at. And if JP Morgan doesn't start going up, and I know it was up big last year, but it doesn't start going back up, then this rally is going to continue to be huddled around a few tech names. Not good enough. You need it bigger. All right, speaking of tech, we have SoftBank taking a position in NVIDIA. I thought this was important, if only just because this NVIDIA is already doubled since it had the first big breakout quarter. Uh, but SoftBank doesn't have to play by the rules. They, It's a private fund, and even if they pay this much, it won't hurt them. But it does verify that NVIDIA is the most forward-looking semiconductor company. Now, it's not really a semiconductor company. We really should be thinking about it as an artificial intelligence chip maker. That's what they are. All right, and then on Mad Dash on Squawk in the Street, you talked about Intuit. Yeah, Intuit is uh, a company that has been leveraging the gig economy. Uh, people who are uh, self-employed need to have their taxes done, and then they also do their, so their personal taxes. It's kind of like a Trojan horse. Uh, Brad Smith, who's a very smart guy, is talking about the tremendous uh, penetration that they have in that particular market, which includes Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, TaskRabbit people. Uh, these are all uh, what I would say are potential, because it's, there's many more of them, continued growth in Intuit customers. All right, let's also talk about earnings. What did you make of Lowe's this quarter? You know, Lowe's was disappointing versus Home Depot, not disappointing versus itself. The expectations got very high because Home Depot was so good. I only point that out because it's just unfair to really say that Lowe's was terrible when you look at all of retail. But Home Depot should be bought on this because Home Depot is, it's a little bifurcated here. Lowe's is really for the consumer it's, it, it, and Home Depot is much more contractor. The contractor business is very strong for Home Depot. As are our home builders. Yes. Uh, you know, like what we're seeing there is re the remodel train. That's what's going on. Okay, also, what did you make of Tiffany's quarter? The stock ran up tremendously, believing that this was going to be a turn quarter, and it clearly wasn't, and every single market was bad, and they're, they're blaming a, a weak dollar, a strong dollar again. Well, be careful, because some companies like Salesforce are saying that the weak dollar is helping them, so that's not going to really fly soon. Uh, I also think, remember, they do have stores in the mall. I've got one in Short Hills Mall near me. Uh, if it's in the mall, it's hurting, and people have to understand that the mall is a huge drag, so if you can't really have any stores in a mall and expect to be able to make the numbers at this point. All right, and then on Stop Trading on Squawk in the Street, you talked about Nucor U.S. Steel. Yeah, Nucor's a big position for Action Alerts. Last week when we did our conference call, uh, the stock was at 55, 56, and we bought some basically on the conference call. This is for Action Alerts. A uh, nice gathering last night with some Action Alerts people and some new people at Bar San Miguel. And I, I think that Nucor's the most undervalued industrial. Uh, it had gone down because there was no infrastructure bill that we thought. There was, uh, the president became very soft in, versus China. I think China is a very unfair competitor as is Korea to Nucor because Nucor is really the low cost producer but Credit Suisse is saying all that's overdone by now $68 price target Nucor I really like that I think it goes there and beyond very right. important position for action alerts and we'll look forward to your bulletins on that one thank you all right and then let's end with earnings to watch a lot of retail names Best Buy yeah, I mean, there's a note today from Jefferies that basically says Best Buy's going to have a good number. This could be Switch, uh, because the Nintendo Switch is selling, sell, selling so well. And we know that from uh, Target, which had a big switch from minus nine in, elect, in the electronics business to plus single digits, and a lot of that was Switch. Uh, I would just caution, I mean, I do think it's going to be fine, but when you have these upgrades ahead, what we've seen in upgrades ahead for the most part is that you get a pop when the stock opens up, and then the people who bought it on the upgrade uh, then take profits because it's a trading upgrade. So just be aware that that money, that there's a lot of hot money in Best Buy as of this morning. Okay, Costco is also reporting. What do you expect? Yeah, Costco is going to be great. I mean, Costco it has been great. We sold it. Uh, we didn't get the special dividend. I did. Uh, I don't regret that we didn't. That there been. We bought some other things with it, but I think Costco, Home Depot. Uh, Walmart have been able to triumph over over the Amazon situation so far. I know people are now saying that Lowe's, maybe Amazon's getting them, and therefore they're going to get to Home Depot. I don't believe that, but right now you're fighting an uphill trend for everybody other than Costco because they make the money with the credit card. Mm -hmm. You want to see the credit card, uh, you want to see them raise the price of the card. That's what's really, not the credit card, the rate, you know, rate, raise the cost of membership. The credit card is an issue that is really starting to work for them when they switch to Visa City, City and Action Alerts name from American Express, which we are tepid on.
Okay, and what about Burlington? Uh, Burlington, I think, is, is going to be one of the stronger off-price stories. Uh, I, I, I defer um, to uh, J.P. Morgan, which is Matthew Boss, which has done incredible work on it. Burlington may be uh, like Ross Stores. It had a very, Ross Stores had a very good number. Taking advantage of a situation where there's a lot of merchandise that's bleeding off of many of the department stores, uh, and, and it ends up at Burlington for great prices for you. You have Matthew Boss on, on Mad Money many times. Yes, I did. I had him one, once, and, and he has got the best vision of who's hot and who's not. All right, and then we'll end with Ulta Salon. Yeah, I mean, I think Ulta is another one that has run up um, when they've run up, uh, other than Domino's. Well, Domino's was down because of an M Science story. When these ones have run up, they tend to be, again, hot money in it. They see the number, you get a double digit comp store number, and then they sell. And even though if you hold on, Ulta just keeps going higher, ultimately, as does Domino's, be aware that the hot money is in Ulta. And it's not, if it sells off, it's not a reflection of Ulta, it's a reflection of the hot money that is in Ulta. All right, Jim Cramer, we'll leave it there. Thank you so Thank much you. as always. All right, a lot of stocks we're following. For more information, head back to thestreet.com.